This is Bracho Daf Yud Aleph. I'm going to bet the topic is Birchot the Torah. And we're going to start where the Gemara, the Gemara is really talking about Birchot Kriyat Shema and uh, Yotar Or and Avar Abba, and from there segues into Birchot the Torah. Um, Amar here, Amar Rav Yehuda, Amar Shmuel, Hishkim Lishnot Achelo Kara Kriyat Shema Tzarech Levarech. If someone gets up early to learn Torah before um, he read Kriyat Shema, before davening, Tzarech Levarech, he has to make a bracha of Birchot Torah. Misha Kara Kriyat Shema, but if he already davened and already said Kriyat Shema, Ein Tzarech Levarech, he does not need to say Birchot Torah, Shekfar Niftar Bi Rabbah, because he's excused or exempted or fulfilled his obligation of Birchot HaTorah through Ahav HaRabah, the bracha of Ahav HaRabah doubles as a bracha on the Torah. And from here the Gemara begins to discuss Birch HaTorah. Amar Rav Huna Amar Rav Huna L'mikra Tzarech Levarech If someone um, is learning Chumash Psukim Tzarech Levarech he has to say Birchot Torah first. Well, the Midrash ain't Tzarech but if someone's learning Midrash, which is the interpretations of Chazal, of the Psukim, the Drashot of the Psukim, then you don't need to make a Birchot Torah. Rabbi Eliezer Omer, Rabbi Eliezer says, Lemikra Ula Midrash Tzarech Levarech, if you learn Psukim, or you learn Midrashim interpreting the Psukim, then you need to say Birchot Torah first. The Mishnah ain't tzarech levarech. If you're learning Mishnah, you don't need to say Birchot Torah. Presumably because Mishnah has no reference to Psukim in it, they are just the halachot. Rabbi Yochanan Amar, after the Mishnah, Nami tzarech levarech, Rabbi Yochanan says Birchot Torah relates also to Mishnah, and you need to say Birchot Torah before learning Mishnah. Yo, Aval the Talmud ain't tzarech levarech, but if it's just Talmud, then you don't need to say Birchot Torah. Talmud is the analysis of the Mishnayot. V'rava Amar Af the Talmud Tzarech Levarech. Rava says even if you're learning Talmud, you need to say Birchot Torah. Damar Rabbi Ashi, because our support is that Rabbi Bar Ashi said Zimnin Sagin Havi Kaimna Kamei Derav Letznuye Pirkin B'Sefard Berav. There are times that we would learn with um, Rav, and he learned the Midrash, the Sifra. Havimaktim the Kamashi Yade, he would first come before the class, wash his hands, Ubarich, and say, Birchara Torah, Umatni Lan Pirkin, and then he would teach us the Parak, the teaching. So we see that you need to say Birchara Torah even for. Um, Sifra, even for Medrash, um, not only for Psukim. And this is how we paskin that you see, need to say Birchot Torah for anything that you're learning that's Torah. Then the Gemara continues and says, What is the bracha that you say? Amar Rehuda Shmuel, Rehuda says the name of Shmuel, Asher Kedishonu Mitzel Savit Sivanu Lasot Pritivay Torah, that God commanded us to learn, to, to be engaged with Torah. Rabbi Yochanan Nesayim, and Rabbi Yochanan would conclude, Bahachi, he would conclude it in the following way, You should make, God should make the words of the Torah sweet to us. in our mouths, am Israel, and the mouths of all of the people of Israel. and we should be. am Israel, our our offsprings, our our descendants, and all the children of Israel. Kulanu should know your name. We escape. Torah and should be engaged in your Torah. Baruch Atah Hashem Hamalamei Torah Le'amo Yisrael. God teaches Torah to Israel. Rav Hamnuna Amar and Rav Hamnuna says, Asher Bracha Banu Mikol Amim V'Nasalanu As Torah. So that God shows us from all the nations to give us His Torah. Baruch Atah Hashem Nosena Torah. Blessed is God who gives us the Torah. 
Amar Rav Hamnuna, Zohi Me'ula Shem Ebrachot. Rav Hamnuna says, this is the best one of all, the Asher Brachot Barnu Mikol Ha'amim, which is indeed the only one that we say when we get an Aliyah at, uh, at the Torah. Hilkach, therefore, since we have all these Brachot, L'mrenu L'chul, we'll say them all, and we indeed say all of them every day in the Birchot HaTorah.